The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. This takes spy movies, unknown John Doe's secret agent shit to the next level. My god, Jason fucking Statham comes back with another bang. I don't know why it took so long to watch this goddamn movie. It's called The Beekeeper, ladies and gentlemen. So get your buzz on. We're going hunt. We're, we're going, uh, I can't, couldn't come up with a great pun. I want to say we're going bee hunting, but can you really go bee hunting? We're gonna get honey. Let's just say that. Anyway, this is an incredible film. So, uh, Jason Jason Statham's character Adam Clay uh, is a beekeeper in this thing. It starts off all great and honey and badges. It's all great until a honey badger shows up and fucks everything up for everybody. So, Jason, I'm gonna spoil this shit off the table. So I apologize. Anyway, Jason Statham is this great beekeeper who happens to be a retired secret agent working for an organization called the beekeepers where they take care of shit they get shit done basically these people they got license to kill they are above the government no one tells them what to do they do whatever they want when they want apparently these guys are willing to die to get the job done and they operate like bees basically if a queen's got defective children defective males the beekeepers get in and they murder everybody the queen slayer basically anyway uh so this starts off all nice and tender i'm like where the action this guy is catching bees he's looking tough and macho this guy can't be catching bees that's what i first thought it's dr Huck double the female version anyway i don't know that lady's name but you get you get what i mean What's this woman's name anyway? Let me look for it real quick. The shot something. Anyway. So, this lady commits suicide after this elite uh, hacking team, uh, United Data something, hacks and steals all her pension, steals uh, two million off her accounts. And then she commits suicide. And Jason Statham, Adam Clay, the beekeeper, whatever you want to call him, goes to town on these motherfuckers. Oh, he kills everybody. And the interesting part is, this lady who committed suicide, her daughter happens to be an FBI agent. So, she is at first trying to find out why would her mother kill herself. And tells the wrong dude. He, she tells the right, the wrong dude, like, this nigga did this and this. And this nigga goes to town on everybody. He starts killing everybody involved in the money stealing. Like, this dude walks into a building like a badass with two cans of petrol, my brother. And he burns the fucking place to the ground. He walks in and he says, <laughs> I'm looking for it, give me a sec. He said something like, uh, bees, he was, he was a goofball with bees. He was talking about bees all the whole time. My God, I'm sweating because of excitement. Anyway, so I gotta say, this is a really good film. Like, there's if you're looking for action, they got it. If you're looking for explosions, they got it. If you're looking for someone who's tough to beat, a murderous intent, who's kind-hearted at the same time, heart-bent on completing a mission, this got it. This got everything. And a nigga almost killed the president, too. Man, this shit is amazing. So if you're looking for a guy who's up against corrupt officials, corrupt government, corrupt kids, sparlet little snotty not kids, brats, get the film. Got it, bro. It got everything. This, oh my God. This film is amazing. Like, I will never, I will never complain about this. This shit is just amazing. One hour and 45 minutes, I'm glad I lost. It was worth the time, it was worth the minutes, it was worth it all. Like, Jason Statham is an incredible actor. The guy is amazing. He played the tough guy. He's macho. Man, this shit is dope. God damn it. God damn it, this movie was amazing. I don't even know what to say about it. I can't even analyze it. All I can say is, this guy was amazing. From start to finish. This guy was incredible. This guy was fantastico. I don't know why I got into the Spanish or Italian accent. I don't even know what that is. But I'm just saying, this was excellent. This was breathtaking. I was at the edge of my seat the whole time. I'm like, why aren't they shooting this? God damn guy. But no, he's the beekeeper. 
He's just incredible. He's amazing. God damn it. God damn it. I'm speechless. I don't even know why I'm doing a review. This is just amazing. Just goddamn amazing. Damn. I hope there's a second part to this. Because I, 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 I want more of this shit. Man, this could be a new franchise. Fuck the Kingsman. Fuck James Bond. This is the shit. And the great thing about this, this guy is an unknown. Like, his fingerprints lead to nowhere. And he's above the fucking law. I mean, even the president can't revoke this nigga's authority. God damn it. This guy's above everybody's pay grade. He gets the job done. No excuses. My God. My fucking God. This is amazing. They better bring me another film. They better give me a goddamn franchise. I want three of these motherfuckers. I don't care how long it takes. Jason Statham and whoever directed this shit. All you niggas. Mm -hmm. David Arya. That's the director. And the writer. Kurt Wimmer. You better write another motherfucking thing. Because this is shit was fucking dope. This shit was... Ugh. And Jeremy Irons, his performance. Hmm. Josh Hutchinson. Oh, man. The acting was spectacular. The morale code. Oh, my God. This was amazing. If you haven't watched this, what the fuck have you been doing? Why are you waiting? I waited. I'm I'm regretting. This movie came out early January and I just watched it today. And I gotta say, I feel sad. I feel bad about this. I should have watched this aeons ago. This was worth it. Thank God. I'm giving this 15 out of 10 stars. <laughs> it's been a while since I enjoyed an action-packed movie. Most action-packed movies have no story. It's just vengeance that has no end. This was amazing. This guy killed people because they hurt the only woman, the only woman, granted, who ever took care of him. These cryptocurrency motherfuckers hurt her. They made her kill herself because she was panicking, man. How, how are you going to get back over two million? That's prison. Because no one's going to believe that you got robbed. They're going to think you stole that money. So she took her life. And Adam Clay went to town on these niggas. Oh my God. And the final shot where he shot a nigga with... This nigga was this cowardly motherfucker. Called Derek something. Played by Josh Hudson. Was holding the U.S. president who happens to be his mother. At gunpoint. Trying to seal his ass. And this nigga Clay was like, Wah! shot him right, 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 right there. And he was dead. And he just, you know how the police be trying to, you know, capture the suspect. And also, this was a double-edged sword. The girl who was looking to capture this guy, uh, Agent Veronica Park. Verona Park, rather. I don't know why I said Veronica. Uh, she was conflicted because this guy is doing revenge on people who made her mother kill herself. Damn, man, this was amazing. This was goddamn amazing. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. If you, I don't know, man, just go watch this thing. You won't regret it. Oh my God, that was amazing. That was amazing. That was so great. I don't know why I took too long to watch it. That was amazing. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.